photos I liked. CNET writer Donna Tam has been playing with Facebook's graph search for weeks. It's really impressive. Type a question and immediately learn about friends by easily calling up what they like, such as movies, music, photos, and restaurants. I've heard of friends who have like gone on it and just been like, whoa, you can look up stuff for hours and check things out and also look at things you've done in the past. Every photo you and your friends have ever posted, liked, or commented on can instantly be found. But graph search can go further, like pulling up photos of, say, friends of your friends who are single and living in San Francisco. It can be definitely a little creepy. You feel like you're just sharing to this network of people you know when sometimes it's not the case. One of the things that we worry about with users on Facebook is we are trading privacy for convenience. And we keep doing that. And this age of privacy where people say, oh, it doesn't exist, I don't believe that. I think we're going to come back and society is going to reset the rules on what's appropriate. Facebook says graph search will be a powerful tool for recruiters and job searching because you can easily search for friends or friends of friends who are, for example, engineers working at a particular company and living in a certain area. But the tool also proves that just about everything you're doing on Facebook is being tracked. So a college admissions officer could find old photos of you at a party or a hiring boss could sift through posts that you've made that touch on religion and even politics. John Fox of the California Public Interest Research Group warns that graph search could also provide scammers and identity thieves with more personal information to target specific individuals. While I wouldn't open an email from someone I didn't know across the world, I would be more likely to open an email if the title was, Hi, this is Jim. We went to elementary school together in Rhode Island. And that may lead me to open an email, click on a link, that may ultimately expose my computer to a virus, to malicious software, or even to a scam. Experts say it's up to users to update their privacy settings to make sure personal information is only available at most to friends. But even tech-savvy users like Donna Tam admit finding the right privacy menu can be confusing. It really actually takes a long time. You go through all of those, you can um, change the So when graph search becomes available to all Facebook users, it's safe to say a lot of people will be surprised that what they once thought was private is readily searchable by a billion other people. Mark New, CCTV, Mountain View, California.